Oh, thank you, Raul. I hope you are enjoying your morning at Weinberg, boys. Hi. And we are here back home, going to do a little bit of workout. Now, this morning, I did say it's going to be a rugby-inspired one because when it comes to rugby and pretty much all sports for that matter, the fitter the team usually ends up winning the game. And the fitter you are, the more intense you can be with throughout the, you know, that 80-minute game that you end, end up playing. And that's why layering fitness drills into your training is also so important not only for endurance, but for speed, strength, and explosiveness. And here to take us through a fitness routine that targets these goals, we have fitness coach and ultra marathon athlete, Kalman Valentino. You are back and I'm doing the workout with you. Yes, you are. We're having a leg day today. How are you doing? Good, good? I'm doing good. Should I be nervous for leg day? Um, you should be a little bit nervous. I saw how you were doing with that upward dog last time we were together. Okay, and it wasn't a success. So let's <laughs> see what we can do today. Yes. Um, have you played rugby before? I have not, but I've played touch rugby for fun. Oh, look at you. you know, when you have to like get the little no. tag or tag someone, that's, that's as far safer. as it's gone for yeah, me. Might save us. We have haven't been tackled before. No, I haven't. Okay. Let's get into our exercises. So today we're going to focus on strength. We're going to focus on mobility as well. So we're going to use one exercise to focus on both of those elements. Okay. And then we're going to cool down with spinal twists and then, yeah, cat calves. Fan. So our first exercise is we're going to do a combination of squats and lunges. So we're going to go into a sumo squat, knees nice and wide. Toes facing in the same direction as the knees. And you're gonna drop the hips as low as you can. You're gonna keep the shoulders in line with the hips here as well. You're gonna go down low. And then you're gonna go into a normal squat as we come up. Feet a little bit more wider than hip width apart. Sit it down. Then we're gonna go into a curtsy squat. We're gonna take that right leg behind the left leg. You're gonna bring that right knee down towards the left heel. Up with your shoulders, gazing up. And then we're going to go into a reverse lunge, stepping back. Oh, this is and a power combo. Down. There we go. So this is giving us mobility here. When you widen up, you open up the hips to the side, external rotation in the hips. Let's repeat that again. This is our normal squat stance, which is also good for mobility. Lower back here, working into the hammies as well. Internal rotation of the hips, curtsy squat. When you come down, keep the shoulders in line with the hips. And then when we step back, we focus on that hip flexor here. So the further you step back, the more you feel that hip flexor and the quad here on the left. Oh, it is burning. So that is like a combination a of both mobility and strength at the same time. You can add weight if you want to load um, some extra weight onto it. You can use a resistant is... band as well. Ah. This will help. You're also hitting all of the muscles in the glutes as well. Not okay. just one muscle. Can we do the reverse side? I feel like just one okay. round of the, the opposite end. So we're going to go into our sumo squat. Take it down. Normal squat, feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. Sit down. You also don't want the knees to stay a little bit behind the toes as much as you can. There we go, beautiful. Coming up, curtsy lunge, left leg steps behind the right. Bring that back knee down towards the right heel. And then we step it back with the reverse lunge. Shoulders in line with the hips. And then back into your normal squat. There we go. This is a good combination. It really. So that's with the legs. So with rugby, you need to be, you need to have agility as well. You need to have power, quick response time. So this one is a bit more extreme. Okay. So you know, one, two, three. One, two, three. So can you do that with me? So opposite hand, opposite leg. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, on the chest. One, two, three. And then if you want to add oh, some enough. power moves into it, one, two, three. Down we go and up again. One, two, three, and Okay, repeat. are we going to do burpee. that? Okay, let's do this. I'm going to just move the mat closer to you. Yeah. So we're going to go opposite hand, opposite yeah, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, one. One, two, three, down we go, burpee. Up we go, again. One, two, three, down we go, burpee. Up we go. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> You How can make that. What would you do? Because that explosiveness definitely gets your heart rate up. Yeah, it does get your heart rate up. So I like to do like heat training. So I would do a minute of that and then do intense cardio for a minute and then a minute of the legs, maybe doing the hips. Okay, you're super fit. I would do 20 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. And with rugby, of course, it's quite heavy on mobility. So it quite limits your ability. Because um, they do a lot of strength training, they do a lot of weight training. So we're going to come down for this one here. We're going to do a cat cow here. So let's release the spine, work the spine here. Because you need to be flexible with rugby. You have the ball, you twist to the side, you twist to the side. So you need that mobility in your upper back there. So hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. 
So we inhale, drop the belly, lift the hips, lift the chest. You're gonna hug those elbows in. And then when you exhale, bring your chin towards your chest. And you want to gaze towards the belly button here, separating your shoulder blade to the back. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift it up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together for me. And then exhale, chin to chest, round it out. And now to add to that, so when you inhale, you drop the belly. This is extending the spine here, working that plane of movement in the body. When you exhale, tuck in the belly button, breathe out. This is when the spine flexes here. So we're gonna work into the twisting plane of the spine here. You're gonna take your right hand behind your right ear. Inhale, elbow to elbow. When we exhale, we push the hips over towards the right and we open up, twisting the spine here. Let's repeat that one more time. Elbow to elbow, inhale, and exhale down. Oh, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you for giving me a teeny tiny taste of oh. what is involved when it comes to the training and the fitness around, especially yeah. a rugby player. Very leg heavy, strong muscles, but recovery and the slow mobility movements also equally important. Kalman, thank you so much for joining Pleasure. us today. Wait. And I hope you enjoyed that workout. If perhaps you are a rugby player, you're probably laughing at us right now. <laughs> yeah.